the best budget smartwatches combine the functionality of a smartphone and convenience of a watch in one amazing product, which is Atmosphere GTR 2E. With prices of the market's best budget smartwatches dropping even further, there's never been a better time to get one. In today's video, we will put the Atmosphere GTR 2E into several tests. We will challenge its heart rate tracking and blood saturation tracking, and also its step count just to find out if it's bad or good. Guys, I'm curious myself. Welcome back, this is Adam, and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. Inside the packaging, we can find the watch itself and USB magnetic charging cradle and a manual leaflet. Atmosphere GTR 2E boasts a very similar design to its predecessor, the GTR 2, with a large circular face and a silicon strap. The variant I tested was dolphin grey, but you can also get the watch in ice lake green and obsidian black. Overall, the look of the watch is quite sporty and maybe not as refined as something like the Zep E or the Withings Move ECG, but it's a great everyday watch packed with useful features and with tremendous battery life. It has an amazing build quality, the body is made out of aluminium, it has a beautiful matte finish giving the smartwatch a fancy look. Here we got the PPG sensors for the heart rate and the SPO2 measurements. These are the charging pins to plug the magnetic charging cable. And here we got the two buttons at the side of the case. The upper button is a power on off and home button and the lower button is being used as a start stop within the apps. GTR 2E has an integrated mic for voice commands and to be used with Amazon Alexa, but it hasn't got a built-in speaker like we got on GTR 2, which means it's not suitable if you want to use it to make a phone calls. So if you need your watch to make a phone calls, you should consider either GTR 2 or the recent addition to the GTR family, GTR 3 and GTR 3 Pro. The absolutely beautiful 1.39 inch AMOLED display is made from tempered 2.5D Gorilla Glass and comes with an anti-fingerprint coating. The watch didn't pick up marks easily even after several weeks of use, so the coating works well. The bezel surrounding the face of the watch is made of aluminium. The 1.39 inch screen isn't quite as large as in the newest GTR 3 Pro which has 1.45 inch but it's equally super sharp and displays vivid colors. Seriously, the AMOLED screen technology puts the older IPS and TFT LCD screens into shame. I have done a simple waterproof test by submerging the GTR 2E in the water for one and a half hours only to see if it survives. All watches from the GTR series, including GTR 2E, have been certified to 5 ATM standards. This means that they withstand pressures equivalent to a depth of 50 meters. Splashes, rain or snow, showering, swimming, diving into water and snorkeling. As you can see, it's absolutely fine after being submerged in water for one and a half hours. The heart rate monitor on this watch seems very accurate and in line with readings I get simultaneously from a medical grade NHS approved pulse oximeter. Here we got the readings of 104 BPM on both devices, that's fine, but the measure had been taken during the rest state. Now let's spice up things a bit. I done about 50 press ups to raise my heart rate, so here we go, let's see how the GTR 2E handles it. Here we got 138 BPM on GTR 2E and 138 BPM on pulse oximeter, that's great, let's take the measurement once more. It's 117 BPM, 116 BPM. Again, both devices going head to head, getting exactly the same readings. However, don't forget that the watch isn't a medical device, so even if it's super accurate, it should be used for reference only. 
GTR 2E is also capable of taking readings of your stress and SPO2 levels, which is also fine. I have encountered a few hiccups taking my SPO2 readings because the watch kept saying I needed to correct my positioning, despite the fact that I placed the watch horizontally on the table without moving. But here we got the reading of 98%. Temperature taking is a newer feature, which again seemed to give lower readings. A MassFit does state that for the most accurate data, the watch should be wear on skin for at least 15 minutes as other factors such as the environment can influence the reading. Here's the step counter or pedometer if you like. Steps, distance, average speed, max speed, heart rate zones, calories and the GPS route, everything organized on one screen. I like it. So with that being said, let's test the accuracy of the pedometer. I have tested the GTR2E step count against a manual tally counter. I've done exactly 1000 steps manually clicking the tally counter for each and every step. And in my first attempt, the GTR2E count shows 1002 steps. Wow, that's phenomenal. This gave us a 99.8% of accuracy. At this second attempt, I have combined some slow walk, fast walk, inclines, declines. I even stopped for a bit to give my GTR more opportunities to make an error in step counts. So here we got 1000 step on a tally counter and a MOSFET shows 1004, which is exactly 99.6% of accuracy. That's surprisingly good. Right, on the third attempt, I took some random stride steps, slow walk, jumps, reverse walk, etc. Basically, I repeated 1000 steps again, but this time in a very random manner. And our challenger, the GTR2E, counted 991 steps. That's great. It gave us 99.1% of accuracy. Conclusion? If step count is important to you, then the watches from a MassFit GTR series are the right choice. As you can see, this watch has been very successful in interpreting the data from its motion sensors. Basically, it ignored any motions that are not associated with walking, giving us a very accurate outcome. That's pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Amosfit and Zep Health Corporation is owned by Huami, who is also the exclusive provider of wearable technology for Xiaomi. The Amosfit GTR2E and GTR2, these two watches run on Huami OS and using Zep Companion app. In both watches, there's no support for any third-party apps like Spotify, YouTube or any third-party fitness apps. But this has been solved in the latest Amosfit GTR3 and GTR3 Pro with the latest Zep OS. However, the GTR2E and GTR2 featuring a lot of core things I use, including alarms, calendar, phone notifications and the weather forecast. The main reason why I have bought this watch is for its fantastic fitness tracking abilities. The Amosfit GTR2E features over 90 different built-in sports modes, the range from indoor sports like yoga, swimming and weightlifting to outdoor sports such as walking, cycling or running. This should satisfy everyone. The watch is equipped with a GPS sensor so you can exercise without your phone in your pocket and still get map of your workout. And honestly guys, for this price, you won't be able to find any comparable device which does its job as efficiently as GTR2E or GTR2. You can buy the Amasfit GTR2E for around 119 British pounds from Amasfit and Amazon UK, 109 American dollars on Amasfit and Amazon US, 129 euro from Amazon France, Italy, Spain or Amazon Deutschland, 230 Canadian dollars, 3150 Mexican pesos, 20,800 Japanese yen, around 10,000 Indian rupees, and 390 giving zlotich. And if you would take off the discount voucher on Amazon that's often being available, it works out at around 99 British pounds, dollars or euros. As you can see, the Amasfit GTR2E is cheaper than Amasfit GTR2. If you're trying to choose between the two, I personally believe that the GTR2E is the better buy. Unless the ability to take calls on your watch is something that you really need, then definitely GTR2, GTR3 or GTR3 Pro makes sense. 
but the battery life on GTR 2e is an absolute killer. Same situation when you'd compare GTR 3 and GTR 3 Pro, the more features the watch has, the faster the battery gets in drained. That's why I would never buy Apple Watch, as daily battery charging is just ridiculous. If you think the Amazfit GTR 2e is the right one for you, don't miss this out. There's an Amazon affiliate link in the video description, so you could find it there for the best possible price. Ok guys, if you enjoyed that video, please give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you won't miss when the next video comes out. I'll see you next week, that was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV YouTube channel.